Every morning is a new beginning and another chance to make the difference that only you can make. Thank you for joining us here on Life Nuggets. And the theme for Nugget 48 is a dad's poem. But first, appreciate the people in your life now. You have no way of knowing how long they'll be here. Show your love now, before someone's tomorrow has been taken away. Cherish those you love. Appreciate them today. A big thank you to the unknown author who shared this beautiful poem with all of us. A Dad's Poem Her hair was up in a ponytail, a favorite dress tied with a bow. Today was Daddy's day at school, and she couldn't wait to go. But her mummy tried to tell her that she probably should stay home. Why the kids might not understand if she went to school alone. But she was not afraid. She knew just what to say, what to tell her classmates of why he wasn't there today. But still, her mother worried for her to face this day alone. And that was why once again she tried to keep her daughter home. But the little girl went to school eager to tell them all about a dad she never sees, a dad who never calls. There were daddies along the wall in the back for everyone to meet, children squirming impatiently, anxious in their seats. One by one, the teacher called a student from the class to introduce their daddy as seconds slowly passed. At last, the teacher called her name. Every child turned to stare. Each of them was searching for a man who wasn't there. Where's her daddy at? She heard a boy call out. She probably doesn't have one. Another student dared to shout. And from somewhere near the back, she heard her daddy say, Looks like another dead be dad. Too busy to waste his day. The words did not offend her as she smiled up at her mom and looked back at the teacher who told her to go on. And with hands behind her back, slowly she began to speak. And out from the mouth of a child came words incredibly unique. My daddy couldn't be here because he lives so far away. But I know he wishes he could be since this is such a special day. And though you cannot meet him, I wanted you to know all about my daddy and how much he loves me so. He loved to tell me stories. He taught me to ride my bike. He surprised me with pink roses and taught me to fly a kite. We used to share fudge sundaes and ice cream in a cone. And though you cannot see him, I'm not standing here alone, cause my daddy's always with me. Even though we are apart, I know because he told me, he'll forever be in my heart. With that, a little hand reached up and lay across her chest, feeling her own heartbeat beneath her favorite dress. And from somewhere in the crowd of dads, a mother stood in tears proudly watching a daughter who was wise beyond her years. For she stood up for the love of a man not in her life, doing what was best for her, doing what was right. And when she dropped her hand back down, staring straight into the crowd, she finished with a voice so soft, but its message clear and loud. I love my daddy very much, He's my shining star, and if he could, he'd be here. But heaven's just too far. You see, he was a fireman and died just this past year when airplanes hit the towers and taught Americans to fear. But sometimes when I close my eyes, it's like he never went away. And then she closed her eyes and saw him there. 
Zadai. And to her mother's amazement, she witnessed with surprise a room full of daddies and children all starting to close their eyes. Who knows what they saw before them? Who knows what they felt inside? Perhaps for merely a second, they saw him at her side. I know you're with me, Daddy, to the silence she called out. And what happened next made believers of those once filled with doubt. Not one in that room could explain it, for each of their eyes had been closed. But there on the desk beside her was a fragrant, long-stemmed pink rose. And a child was blessed if only for a moment, by the love of a shining bright star and given the gift of believing that heaven is never too far. They say it takes a minute to find a special person, an hour to appreciate them, a day to love them, but then an entire life to forget them. It doesn't matter how many friends I have because my best friend is God. And he is a super friend. People come and people go, but God's love for you will remain the same. Embrace it, cherish it, and spread it everywhere you go. Let your light shine brightly for all the world. And on a lighter note, remember what Dolly Parton said? Love is something sent from heaven to worry the hell out of you. Have a wonderful and blessed day and weekend. Be a beacon of love and light. And don't forget to cherish the ones around you while you still have them. Love and regards, Charles Butter.